when you buy an EV car, it's going to have a very less resale value right from the day you drive it out of the showroom. It, you can lose anywhere between 40 to 50% of the value of that car. Why is it like that? And what is it about EVs and resale? So that's the episode today. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Green and Clean YouTube channel. My name is Vittal. If you are new to EV, then I have covered an extensive series of episodes in season one of this channel where I talk about various things about EV, right from um, battery life to uh, warranty to charging infrastructure and various myths that uh, circulate in the media about EV. So if you haven't watched the full series, I request you to please uh, watch it and also uh, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you get notification whenever there's a new video. So let's jump into today's episode, which is about EVs and the resale value. Now, be before we talk about car and the resale, uh, I just want to bring to everyone's notice that car is not like a, uh, an investment opportunity. Nobody should be buying a car to try to make some money out of it. Of course, if you are a, running a fleet business or something, then it's uh, you do it for business. But cars are not meant to be uh, like a, used as an investment opportunity. Right, so you are going to have a depreciation value on car. It's not a, it's not an appreciating asset. It's a depreciating asset. It's not a real estate like how you buy flats or houses. So cars are depreciating uh, assets, but you have to look at some cars and some brands that have a very good uh, demand in the uh, resale market or, or in the used car market. Right, most of these are ICE cars because they are in high demand. They are good cars, so people want to buy them. So there is a, a good price that you get out of it and. Somehow people try to apply the same logic of those brands on those uh, models of cars to every car uh, that you buy, but that is not going to be the case. And if we talk about EVs especially, currently in India, EV penetration or the EV adoption is only about 3 to 4%. So that's a very small uh, figure. So that means only 4% of the buyers who want to buy new cars are looking for EV. So you're already looking at a very small market when you're trying to sell your used EV. So there's going to be very less uh, people wanting to buy uh, the used car, uh, which is an EV, right? So already you have a very small market in which you are playing. And when you have a small market, the prices are going to be uh, very difficult. So it is it is not mature yet. So that's the be better way to put it. So the EV resale market is not mature yet because the EV adoption is not yet caught up and it's not yet mature. It is still an evolving space uh, as the year goes by you'll get better and better EVs. So what, the EVs that we get now compared to five years back are, are a lot better. So uh, EVs are sort of a tech product. So you buy something today, uh, you will get the same car uh, for less price two years down the line or for the same price that you paid today, two years down the line, you might get a better car, better battery pack, better features and uh, whatnot. So that's the thing about EVs. But let's look at this uh, whole um, resale uh, angle for EVs, right? First of all, you buy an EV and you are paying some price premium currently. So an equivalent ICE car is mostly cheaper than the EV cars. It's still, you still pay, pay a higher premium for your EV car. And in order to, to make economic sense of that premium that you paid, right? So you have to drive the EV for some distance. Maybe you have to drive it for 1 lakh kilometer, 1 lakh 50,000 and, and things like that to to make sense of the premium that you have paid. So if you're buying an EV just to from a financial angle and trying to sell it, let's say after three or four years, then it doesn't make sense. Of course, you should buy an EV if you are uh, trying to uh, have a, a car with the less pollution, no noise, better ride quality. So you can enjoy the EV that way. But if you are looking at uh, the financial angle and trying to, if you are the type of uh, owner who wants to replace your car every three, four, five years, then uh, EVs doesn't make financial sense because before you could gain the uh, the premium that you have paid on the EV, before you could make the most out of the value of the EV, you are already selling it. So actually the second buyer who is buying from you is going to make more benefits than you. So I, I, th I think it's my personal opinion, EVs are not the same way, you, you know, you cannot treat the EV resale um, scenario in the same way as ICE cars resales. In, in the case of ICE cars, you do have a scheduled maintenance as the car gets older and older, right? So you have the um, the engine needs some rework, uh, not rework, but like decarbonization, engine decarbonization, then the clutch plates will have issues, the brake pads, uh, frequent oil changes, and 
whole lot of things even the timing belt so as the ev as the ice car gets older and older the maintenance of these cars are going to be higher and higher and that could be one of the reason why people want to sell ice cars which get a little bit older right so you always want to make sure that you are buying a, a somewhat a brand new uh, ice car in the case of uh, the the ice cars right so that could be one reason why people want to sell their ice cars after 3 4 5 years because you want to push that those expenses of uh, maintaining an old car to somebody else but in the case of ev it's not like that because in evs as you know there are very few parts the maintenance is very cheap and only it's the battery that is the the most uh, critical component uh, of evs and these days batteries do last long they come with 8 years 160000 km warranty in most cars so 8 years itself is the warranty and um, it is it is very likely that the battery will last 12 15 or even more number of years so you you need to fully extract the life of the battery if you are owning the ev right so that's why i think you should own it for a much longer duration maybe 10 years 12 years because you you have a, a a car that doesn't cost much to to run doesn't cost much to maintain then why do you want to sell it the only reason is probably you just don't want to have a an old car and there is some other better car in the market so that's the reason maybe you want to go for a, a new evs but if you have an ev i think you should look to own it long longer period of time so that's the uh, reason but uh, as i said it's uh, it, it is still a very uh, early stage of uh, let's say ev market so we are not even into 5 10 years into this space so the the resale markets and the resale economics have not yet matured so that's why uh, the the ev cars have uh, much less resale value well i'm not saying that nobody should uh, sell their evs but all i'm trying to say here is that if you have an ev the older it gets right it's not going to be very difficult to maintain right so i have seen ev cars that have run more than one lakh two lakh kilometers and and they still run like uh, like new right so evs are more durable cars that way as long as the battery is uh, good right so that's that's the thing so it, it's not the same thing as ice cars because once you once it gets older it, it becomes more uh, sort of a headache to maintain it but it's not the case with evs evs are just like uh, uh, any other home appliance that you keep using using until it dies right so that's that's how i, I look at it if uh, you are owning uh, ev well that's about it for today's episode i hope uh, you, you like such contents once again uh, thanks for watching and do subscribe to the channel press the bell icon and see you again in other episodes thank you